Hello, everyone, and welcome to session 45 of An Area of the Shattered Realm. Back again and ready to roll. We are ready rolling. To mingle. We are rolling? Yes. We are single seven. and ready to mingle. <laughs> 17. Well, you're Fred recently 14. single, yes. Fred mm -hmm. recently single. Bolt, we don't know what's happening. <laughs> we don't know yet. Victor. I'm just Boy, imagining Lyra. I'm just imagining all the people that uh, Fred would meet on a speed date. <laughs> they would be like, who let her in here? Yeah, please, please get me out of here. Uh, but we are back. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. We're so excited to get into the session tonight. Uh, but before we do the usuals, do you like liking? Do you subscribe to commenting? Do you comment about subscribing? Well, you should do all three of those things uh, right there. Thank you, Scott. And of course, don't forget to ding Just the bell. To told the dead. Head. Yes. <laughs> if you like Preston's head. Yeah, if you like Preston's head, button. like, comment, and subscribe <laughs> that you like Preston's head. It's not head. hard to click. It's very large. Yes. <laughs> He's got a gigantic noggin. Oh. And uh, don't forget to join our Patreon where you can get these episodes a couple days early and uh, perhaps with some additional videos that are fun and good. That helps us out. Uh, Immensely, yes, so even more than papers. anything else that you could do. Uh, two dollars a month gets you access to the Discord, right? Mm -hmm. And Discord? then, yeah, is it is that early access too, or is it? Uh, uh, there's early access to certain posts, yeah, uh, things like polls and announcements, things like that. Yeah, so help us help you because we provide you entertainment, right? We are. You're listening to this while you're working, I suppose. Uh, so, Listen you know, we're working. we're the white noise, <laughs> pretty literally. If you listen to this while you're working out, we probably need to pick up the pace, so we're we're going at a higher. It's true. Higher uh, beat. Yeah. Or you can always speed us up. But yeah. Yeah. I always do. <laughs> Watch that Satan kick him to the cross. <laughs> Have you ever seen that? No, what? <laughs> no! This is like my favorite thing ever. It's like this lady's workout video. I don't know where it originated from. There's people. It's like, shake off the Skittles, shake off the Reese's, shake off the candy corns. Now ride that witch's broom. Ride that, ride that witch's broom. Squash sa Satan, kick him in the crotch. Squash <laughs> Satan, kick him in the crotch. Okay, you will have to show me this later. In that fact, uh, a YouTube short. We'll recreate that for Patreon. <laughs> Kick that Satan in the crouch. <laughs> you can dress up as Mabel. Yes. <laughs> but she would not be kicking no. Satan in the crouch. She would be partnering with him. To kick, to kick other people in the crouch. Yeah. yeah. And it's more of a punch for Mabel because... Uh, yeah. yeah, she's very punchy. What is a kick except for a punch with your foot? Yeah. It's just she's... That's a really high kick for Mabel because she's short. Mm. Don't tell her I said that because she's very sensitive about it. Yeah. She is. Good thing she's not here right now. Yeah. <laughs> she's yeah. right behind me, isn't she? Awkward. <laughs> you wouldn't know because she's short. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> that is such a burn. Hey, I, I'm allowed to make short jokes. My wife is five feet tall. Yeah, I'm like, you're not short. <laughs> I'm also allowed to make short jokes. My dog is really short. It's true. <laughs> We're going down that route. I can make short jokes. I'm wearing shorts. I... I think it's inappropriate. <laughs> well, you're better than all of us, okay? Happy? <laughs> no. uh, and then I think that's just about it, except for thanking Sirenscape for their wonderful sound effects like. <laughs> eight noises today. Um, they eight. provide that wonderful. Was not eight. Uh -huh. Do you have any epic die? Yes. Give me one. <laughs> Here, you can have a uh, licorice. Oh, perfect. Uh, but they provide great sound effects and sounds for our game, and they can do the same for yours. Not a sponsor currently, but uh, just something we really enjoy. So, I think we're going to go ahead and begin with a recap, like we usually do. Uh, last time, the party marched their way, not marched, but flew their way up towards the palace that had risen into the sky to go fight uh, Major Domo Maldronis. Uh, they fought some dragons. They kicked some ass. And are we? Yeah, we're we're, we're all out of bubblegum. Yeah, yep, yeah, we were all out of bubblegum, unfortunately. Uh, and they made their way into the throne room where they confronted the major domo, who turned out to be a giant adamantine plated long dragon. Not really a surprise. That wasn't. He was kind of telegraphed. Who was to be also so. like uh, in league with. Um, the Blood Flame Serpents. Mm -hmm. yes. Yep. He was known as the Herald of Flame. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's such a cool nickname. It really is. Dang it. 
<laughs> Fred's like, can I steal this now that he's dead? Like he must I be in league with you? <laughs> uh, but you guys were able to defeat him after a big harrowing fight, uh, where I believe you said you ended with eight HP, still <laughs> alive. Uh, Victor is at two. Bolt, how you doing? Seventy-eight. <laughs> oh my gosh! Did you heal up already? No, no. Plus eleven ten. Sorry, seventy-eight plus eleven ten. What? <laughs> I almost have two hundred HP. <laughs> oh, so that is still like uh, it's less than half. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just thought I wasn't hitting you as much during that combat, which is whatever. Like, well, that's, that's 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 wrong. I feel I feel like that was good for me, right? I usually I target you a little bit more than everybody else. Brother. <laughs> yes. Uh, but we kind of ended there, except for one last revelation, uh, a note that you found on the Herald's body that described a few other Heralds that were working towards some purpose. Plain bone, flesh, blood, mm-hmm. and chaos. Yep. Whoa. Did you remember that, or did no. you write it down? I wrote it down. <laughs> <laughs> well, either way, that's called that remembering. Down. Writing Sorry, something yeah. down is just paper remembering. Paper remembering. Yeah. <laughs> that is a new term I've never heard of before. It's a journal. Uh, but it sounds like they are working in tandem to try and accomplish some goal, which um, kind of you got hints about in the letter, but not uh, anything that I can actually reveal at this time because it's DM privilege. It was it was kind of cryptic. Yes. So maybe give that note a once over again. Who knows? You might find something in there. Fred throws her voice. Bye. Bolt meteors into a dragon into another one mm-hmm. and backdoor in my bird. What? Hmm? <laughs> Bone, flesh, blood. I know and... that that's funny. Like I know that we <laughs> made a really good joke with the backdoor in my bird thing. I wrote it down because we said to write Oh, it it's down. because uh, Gearhawk has Gearhawk a has uh, backdoor. Yeah, has a the <laughs> sure. Well, Put a back door into it. Title of your sex tape? Yeah. (laughs) Whoa. (laughs) We're past the 30 second mark. (laughs) Sorry, what are they? Blood, flesh, blood, bone. So flame, bone, flesh, blood, chaos is what I have written down. Mm -hmm. All right, I just had a thought. I'm not going to voice it. I kind of want you to voice it now. (laughs) Really? Yeah, go ahead. Well, I was just wondering... I wonder if Fred's father has anything to do with this. Mm, an interesting theory. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? That I wonder if Fred has guy. anything to do with it. What? Little old me? Chaos. <laughs> it turns <laughs> Both of you are the herald of chaos. And you, you didn't tell me? Okay. We are. Okay, okay. I know that I do betrayals a lot. Uh, it's your thing. I, yeah, it's kind of my thing, but I don't think I'd even go that far to be like, hey, Tori, make a character that's going to betray the party at the end. <laughs> right? I'm we wouldn't do that. Yeah. So I'm just saying. We'll talk. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we're going to pick up right after. Uh, you guys have basically spent maybe about 10, 15 minutes uh, resting after this harrowing fight, recovering some of your uh, stamina back. All that adrenaline has finally gone away, and the exhaustion is setting in. Except for Bolt, they're doing fine. They're pretty much um, the same as ever. They, you're job. off to such a strong I'm start. All right, well, Fred, Victor, are you, are you both all right? No, I'm totally fine. Do you have any healing potions? Yes. I think so. Victor looks guiltily. <laughs> Come in. Elsewhere. Oh, I wish we had one of those vending machines here. <laughs> Just then. <laughs> <Ding>! <laughs> the Who's problem is healing? it drops on somebody and then they have to go to another world. So what are we doing? It's just a, mine is just a regular. You don't have any larger ones, like uh-uh. greater or anything? Do I roll? Do I roll for it? Two d four. Uh, if you take the full uh, the full action to drink it, which you yes. can at this point, uh, it's just ten hit points yeah. total. Okay. That, yeah, that's our house rule. You get max. Feeling a little winded though. Uh, if we can manage. Did you have a potion? Did you say no. No, I my rune was already used to. I will give you a potion of greater healing. Yep. And Fred, I will give you one as well. Oh, thank you. So that is four d four plus four. Okay. So 20 total HP if you take the full action to drink it. Yes. 20 total? Oh, I'll take the full action. Yeah. Just here. Oh, 20. A bit better. Victor, you're a dragon's bane now. You're one of us. 
Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, man. So now I guess I need to like put that then Victor Odanta Dragon's Bane. Yes. You should put that on all of your wedding invitations. <gasps> I have, have to start all over. <laughs> <laughs> you start ripping up like a hundred invitations that you've been in your off time. You just been making. Money. Victor, you <laughs> then it never just added it at the end. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're very efficient at shredding too. You get, you are gonna have to start all over. <laughs> yeah. There's one thing knife dancers are good at. <laughs> I've got a, ma- a magical shredder for for papers like secure papers. Yes. So all you hear is <laughs> I just imagine you just take all your knives and start spinning them like this at each other and you just like it's very dangerous, but he loves it. Drop them all in. <laughs> Make little like Makes great confetti. Mm-hmm. Yeah, confetti and Ooh. then the little whatever the accordion people. Yes, yes. <laughs> Which that's on a different that's on a different plane of an area. The accordion people. Yeah. Accordion people. Yeah. It's it's like the war for it's a uh, musical yeah, war it's land of music. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the island of misfit toys, but yeah. Yeah. Island of Misfit Warforge. Uh-huh. Corey's like, don't mind me. I'm just going to write something down really quick. <laughs> and then just put... When I ran Corey's which bachelor party, I did a one-shot for him and a bunch oh, of friends. So and they ran into a... No, one of our friends. Someone was a transforming Warforge that transformed into musical instruments and used that as their attack. That's so like, awesome. They were like a player piano one time, a cello another time. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so as you're recovering, Ethira is kind of quietly just like kneeling next to her father's body, which is kind of snaked around the room, obviously. When a dragon dies, they don't die in human form. over there like ripping the fangs out. Like, <laughs> Make my way I, down to... I would, you at least didn't steal his soul, so that's we, good. We all start but... singing like some kind of dragon killing sea shanty. <laughs> no, it was 100% no, from Frozen. Worth Oh. That's that first song they sing. The the I, the, <laughs> the, the, the ice song. <laughs> That's what we're um, the doors kind of fling open, and the emperor walks in. Uh, the emperor, uh, that's my hot. Uh, I know his name, Marotask. Uh, <laughs> I made this character. I know his name, uh, Emperor Marotask, and an honor guard uh, walk into the room, and he says, uh, "We felt a pulse of magic." And then all of the other dragons in the area uh, that were attacking us began to scatter. So I assumed that things went well here, and I could see that they have. Mm. Yes, we uh, we tried to reason with the Major Domo, but it's not receptive to surrendering. And so unfortunately, we had to take care of them. Understandable. Yes, mm. I think that's one of our rules. Surrender or die. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Sure. Could be, could be what, rule number 28 on, in the uh, Wayward Watch? <laughs> well, I do appreciate the effort that you've put out today. Uh, you may have helped stop this coup before it could get dangerous and many innocents could die. Um, so kind of, I'm gonna like, make sure we're kind of away from Afira. Uh-huh. And I'm gonna kind of um, talk to the to the king and be like, now, um, what are your plans for Ophira? She actually helped slay her own father. Yeah, she is a, she's proved herself very loyal. I wouldn't have any ill will towards her. I have to consider things for a couple days, but I would not expect anything bad to happen to her if that's what you're concerned about. I was concerned about that, yes. Uh, I appreciate your concern for my... She has become quite quite a good friend to us. I, however, I feel like our relationship with her may be strained at this point. I would imagine so. But I would like to formally invite you to stay in the palace for a couple of days while I work to make sure that everything is proper in Bosmahat once again. Um, and then once everything has settled down, I can uh, provide you the promised rewards if that's all right. I think we would be uh, quite all right with uh, a little respite before we head out. Perfect. And he he turns uh, to one of the honor guards and she kind of does, uh, she gives him a little bit of a salute. He says, uh, take them to the guest quarters. Yeah, pretty much. Um, it's a dragon salute, so it's like... <laughs> um, take them to the guest quarters and uh, make sure that they're well taken care of. 
Um, the rest of you, let's work on getting this palace back to ground. Level. It's the toothless dance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> and uh, she nods and says, yes, Emperor. This way. And she is going to uh, lead you through some of these halls. Uh, she's just a, a gold-skinned dragonborn. It seems like most of the honor guard is gold scales. Um, and she leads you to this large tower, like through a courtyard. You see this just this massive tower that has staircases running up and down it. Mm-hmm. And each level has a uh, is dedicated to its own like set of guest quarters with like a common area in between them all. And so she, it seems like it almost seems like she just picks one at random, but it's definitely not like the first floor guest quarters. She goes up four or five flights of stairs and then <laughs> opens the door and says, "You may uh, spend the night in here." Uh, the full guest quarters are open to you to explore, or the, the full guest area. Uh, you'll note the jade icons that represent uh, places that you are allowed. And you do look over and there's like a, a full, a, one of the largest pieces of jade, like intricately carved that you've seen uh, into the set to the wall. Do uh, you validate airship parking? Uh, we don't technically have an airship dock currently, but if you have one, we are in a floating something. castle. Not for much longer, hopefully. <laughs> Darn, because that was really cool. <laughs> I kind of agree. <laughs> Very defensible, although not quite as defensible as we thought. <laughs> she wow. says, looking at the three people who assaulted this on their own. There are always <laughs> exceptions to the rule, yes. of course. We are the exceptions to the rule, in case you didn't understand that part. I thought you were the way we watch. That's a good slogan. To Those who make watch, the, the exceptions yeah. make the rules. Mm-hmm. 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 Right, and then you are also free to uh, wander about the city. Um, right, <laughs> she's, she's like, I'm a soldier. I got to just got to move past this. Uh, <laughs> I would, I would recommend caution moving about the city. Uh, seeing strangers might not be something that a lot of citizens are uh, eager for right now after their ordeal tonight. Mm-hmm. So, but that is your own risk to take. We appreciate the concern, but I believe we can take care of ourselves. Of course. Thank you, though. And then um, you, your meals will be provided once we get the serving staff back in place. So uh, until then, good evening. Head to you. And she's going to walk away. Uh, excuse me. Um, um, yes. What, what, what is your name? I had her name. So when I do my um, Yelp I review, I can say, apostrophe had <laughs> say that you helped us very well. <laughs> Air name. <laughs> Nola Day. Nola Day. Okay. You were so far off. Nola Day. You don't like Lede? <laughs> They're very kind people. I'm sorry, what are Lite? Um, uh, small know. small river dwelling folk. Uh, furry, brown. Oh, not familiar. Hmm. Well, you just said no Lide, so. Uh, that's my name. <laughs> no Lide. Mm-hmm. Oh, her parents are. If you'll yeah, excuse me, <laughs> she's going to walk off. And we're like, like, we're like discussing this. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, so you've got a couple days uh, that you kind of spend in the palace or about the area. Is there anything that anybody wants to do in particular? You can all take a long rest. Hooray! And you don't have to use any sort of uh, gems in order to recuperate because you are in basically the castle of the gr- one of the greatest nice. elder dragons. We got our, we got our uh, spell slots back there. Mm-hmm. Nice. But is there any uh, anything that anybody wants to do during these two days, or shall we just skip ahead? Well, I have heard that Basmahat is quite the opulent city. Would you like to go uh, wander around and see what we can find? Yeah, I'd like to find all the places that don't have jade figurines. Likewise. I've heard it's got quite a Basmahat nightlife, if you know what I mean. Cut to the city uh, on fire, <laughs> <laughs> half destroyed by dragons. Wait, what's that in the EDM? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's a rave. I've never been to a, a rave. Raid. Everyone screams. Oh no! <laughs> it's a Ravenfolk <laughs> rave. It's a bunch of Kenku. <laughs> <laughs> They're the ones making the EDM noises. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Do you have any drugs? Nothing. Maybe, just know. rock hopper clan vodka, but that's kind of not really. What I think you're asking Le- about. legally they have to call it a truck. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, so if you guys would like to explore the city, is there anywhere in particular that you're looking to go? A market, a specific site that you want to see, that kind of thing. I I didn't necessarily mean that we have to play it out. It's just more of a yeah. 
we can just go and see the sights. Yeah, sure. Um, hopefully yeah. not scared. One hundred percent look like tourists. Mm -hmm. We're all wearing like white sneakers, um, fanny packs. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. we're all wearing t-shirts to say like I heart boss my hot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's oh, yeah. like, where the hell did you get those? Like, we made them ourselves. You get accosted by so many costumed people. And you don't understand any of the costumes because you're not from Arconis, but they're, ah, you suppose yes, that they're um, famous. The big head, I totally understand. Uh, <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> um, why don't we get a set of charisma checks, charisma skill checks? I just want to see how the people respond to uh, you guys walking about town. Uh, oh. Boss Mahat right now is currently like under reconstruction after the raids, but it seems like the people are picking up qu uh, quickly. A lot of the uh, citizenship of Boss Mahat seems more prepared for this kind of thing than you would expect. Flat charisma, performance, um, persuasion, deception. Let's just do f flat charisma. Okay. 11. 11? Uh, based on my charisma role, I, uh, as we walk through the city, I all of a sudden run away from the group and I crash to the ground on my knees and I just go, no, the buttresses. <laughs> there's, a, there's a couple buildings that okay. collapse. And yep, all the a couple, a couple like churches. It's Arcon. very loud and, and mm -hmm. startling to people. Around yeah. Me. God, four. <laughs> yeah, Fred did not very roll very well either. She got a twelve. Well, uh, you two she's are walking okay. around. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she without a camera. You're like, it, she's holding up. Uh, oh, she's holding up uh, her eye stock creature, or so, a Blinken. <laughs> Victor's gonna come over. Yes. And he's gonna be consoling, yep. consoling Blinky. people who are like crying over the dead as he's like trying to also check what's in their pockets. Not the people who are alive, but the people who are dead. <laughs> You're gonna pocket the dead. <laughs> this is totally gonna be like, let me help you with their funeral rites. Okay. <laughs> uh, give me a sleight of hand roll. Most beautiful architecture. But then I need you to roll me your your charisma check again because you have disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> so for, with the sleight of hand, it's a fourteen plus twenty one. Oh, never mind. You're good. So yeah, you you are so subtle that you don't even have to worry about the the disadvantage. There. You're taking the clothes off the dead instead of putting them on. Like they don't even you know, realize really, it's that good. Really, if we're going to properly bury them, <laughs> do you do this for everyone? For, for all the ones that I see that look opulent. Uh, roll me a d20 and we'll see how many you, <laughs> you pickpocket. Four? Four? Yeah, so you you manage to, like, console and rob four corpses. Uh, <laughs> well, when you put it that <laughs> way. And, I, and again, I won't take it, like, if, if they look destitute, I'm not going to no, take it. Yeah, it's just these the opulent ones. They're from, opulent. So let's say that you get... Lighten the load. From the uh, rich to the poor. To the poor and near the poor. Exactly. Let's say 834 scale. Let's call you Robin. 834 scale. Perfect. Yep. And Robin one uh, jewel encrusted toe ring. Ooh, fancy. Yeah. Are you going to wear it? Uh, what's it smell like? Are you going to... <laughs> it smells like feet. <laughs> I can give you that like, one off the, yeah. off the one, top. <laughs> you said toe ring? Yes. A and toe ring that was fitting what type of creature? Uh, it was. No, that's a good question. Because it could be like dragonborn. big toe, a little toe, depending on size, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a it was a dragonborn toe, so it was kind of a, a thicker toe. So it could be like a bracelet for you, maybe. I have a bangle. <laughs> a bangle that smells like feet. Uh, you're wearing it on your ankle. The only thing that makes it unusual <laughs> is jewelry is not a big fashion statement around here, okay. uh, because most of the precious materials go to the dragon hordes to contribute to magic around the city. So okay. that's very much that is very much a. Faux status, pas. It's, yeah, it's a status symbol, but the reason why it's a toe ring is because they're trying to be subtle, subtle about discreet. it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing says subtle like a toe ring. <laughs> as long as you're wearing shoes over the ring. Yeah. yeah. As long as you're not constantly and, looking at people's feet. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't it doesn't go too bad uh, for you guys. Most of, the, most of the time, people are just, you know, happy to do business however you want. Uh, you have enough scale that nobody really, like... Wants Can to I... say no to you because they need to repair their shop somehow, right? Mm. Can we find a place to buy some more healing potions? Hmm. Uh, you can buy some healing like runes here and recharge the ones that you have. Do we know if they them? will work outside of Arconis? Uh, you have no reason to believe that they won't work. Okay. Yeah, basically because they're just they they need to recharge with magic. Uh, but once you get like 
an area's got plenty of magic. I was gonna say, can it. I roll an Arcana check and, and like realize, see if I can realize yep. if the, they will just recharge on their own in an area? Sixteen. Uh, yeah, anywhere that where there's sufficient magic, they should just recharge as sort of a um, once per day type of thing. They okay. recharge at the uh, after twenty four hours. Um, are there different sizes of them? Yes, actually there are. In fact, I wrote all of this down so I have this prepared. Uh, let's see if Be I have prepared. Rune magic. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, ooh. ooh, say it again. <laughs> Mufasa. Uh, you are looking for rune stones of healing. So we've got all of the different varieties. Are they the same, like greater, superior, etc.? Mm-hmm. Yep. Can I see if I can find a superior? <laughs> yeah, it's 500 scale per for those. And what's the conversion rate? Ooh, I think it's about the same as last time because I think the way that I've been converting it is based off of like a yearly report rather than a daily report. Oh. I figured out, yeah. Fair enough. One gold enough. is 447. I got 447 was the last one that I wrote down. And I will take one of the big ones. Yeah, we'll say 447. Big ones being superiors or greaters? Or supreme? The biggest. Supreme. Yep. We'll say that you could probably get uh, one each okay, I was gonna say, of the stock uh, because that's one gold for... I wouldn't mind having like 10 of those. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> these these uh, scale prices were written before I knew the price of scale, so... <laughs> uh, but yeah, you could probably find one each. They're not the most common things, but... Uh, okay, what about the lower one, one too, the, the greater? Uh, say, I'll say that you could probably find one of each type of rune stone if you want. The graders are 200 scale... The runes of healing are 100 scale, and then uh, there is one rune of supreme healing that you are able to find that is a thousand scale. Hmm, I know who should get that. <laughs> Charge it. Yeah, which is an incredible deal for people who have gold uh, elsewhere. So kind of thing, so. I have a regular rune of healing. It just needs to be recharged. So hmm. if I buy one of the one of the supreme, one superior, and one greater. So remember they have those pillars in uh Yeah, so if you if you need to plane? recharge a rune stone, it's half the scale price. Naldros to, to recharge it. Price. Yep. Okay. Wasn't it the pillars in Aldros that they mm -hmm. use? Yep, and they have pillars here too. Yeah. They've got them evenly spaced around that are just kind of these fonts of magic. Do you that by chance have walk those in D D Beyond right now? I don't. Okay. Yep. I will I write them, them here. Um one superior, one greater, and one regular, right? Yep. And one supreme. Yeah, so that's right. I'm buying the Supreme. Yeah, you're buying like, the Supreme. Uh, so, you, but, so would I be able to get one Supreme, one Greater, one Superior? Mm -hmm. And, we're and how much would that regular. be with three? And uh, then half on the regular. Uh, 1750. 1750 scale. Yeah, right so there. three gold and a half. Three and a half gold. Uh, yeah. Which is <laughs> an incredible... This is my, uh, <laughs> this is my weird... Uh, Miscalculation for gold for the uh, for the season. Let's just say. So <laughs> I'll, tell you, yes. I'll tell you what. I'll give what the guy. I'll give you guy a tip. Uh, so ten gold you pieces. can get a superior, a greater, and a regular rune stone of healing. I will have all three. Perfect. I'll give the guy <clears throat> ten golds worth as a really big bonus to say you know just to be like I want you to deliver it to my my quarters because I don't have to be bothered to carry this kind of thing. <laughs> I mean, it's a rune storm about this big, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, he definitely it's a status thing. Like, yep. Um, how how much do I owe? Uh, I think just like two or three golds fine for yours. Well, I suppose I'll do three. That's not really my thing to tip, but. Uh, and then a specific thing about the rune stones is you can do you can do a bonus action to uh, heal somebody else within five feet of you as well. So they are they are clever in that way where. You don't have to like use a full action to pour it down somebody else's throat. You can do the bonus action to heal somebody for the equivalent of a full action for healing potion. I am very generous. You should all thank me. You are great. Yep. Corey the Great. And uh, they will uh, be taken away unless we get 500 likes on this video. <laughs> <laughs> well, here you go. Here, I'll drop, yeah. it, I'll yeah. drop, yeah. drop it by 100. <laughs> Yeah, every epic die drops it by 100 legs. <laughs> He's trying to get us to spend our epic dice. Um, let's go ahead and skip ahead to the... Yep, to the uh, two days after 
You guys have been wandering around. You've gotten some nice clothing from the shops. You know, you've been kind of on a, a little bit of a vacation because you just... Can it be like, the Gerudo This is the first time that you haven't had a... The... Have you heard it before? Yes. Gerudo Fortress, yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. It's like the mandolin. Uh, and you're probably all eating breakfast in the common area of the palace, which we have. We'll just do specific common area music. We'll just do palace gardens. What type of food? Oh, there's a private chambers. So we'll do that. Private chambers? <laughs> That's her last. That's Nola Day's last name. <laughs> Nola Day. Nola Day Chambers. Okay. Uh, so as you're eating a nice prepared breakfast by cobalt servants, they're back in full swing. Everything seems pretty normal at the palace. The only thing that indicates that there ever was an attack is the big ring around where the palace is sitting that is like all churned up dirt rather than uh, really beautiful palace gardens like it used it's to be. It's the Rick and Morty house crack. Yeah, it's basically <laughs> surrounding the house. Uh, when there is a knock on the door. What does it sound like? It wasn't like Timid? a fun no. knock? No, it was just, it was just three uh, subtle, not subtle, but just like three formal knocks. <laughs> all Sounds like it. someone boring. Uh, when you open up the door, Ephira is standing there. Oh. <laughs> uh, she looks pretty much the same as she has before. She's got a new set of uh, robes on, but she actually has changed her human visage that she has been wearing. So it kind of her porcelain skin kind of melts into uh, silver scales that run down the sides of her and kind of on the tops of her hands and everything. So it's just a little bit different than it was before. And she she gives you a bounce. Says, "Good morning. Good morning. Would you uh, care you. to join us for breakfast?" Oh, uh, I already ate. I apologize if I'm interrupting. No, you're, you're fine. Um, I'm actually here to formally invite you to the throne room today after your morning meal. The emperor would like to speak with you and um, provide you, you with what he uh, what he promised. Oh, okay. Thank you. How are you feeling, Ephira? I'm... You're living out my dreams. Probably shouldn't have said that. That was insensitive. I'm, I'm coping. It's, um... I'm trying to remember the man that I knew, uh, who my father was, not um, uh, the vile, chaotic creature that he became. Mm. Chaotic people are the worst. Yes. <laughs> are the... On that note... I did have a request when you meet the Emperor today. You're not going to have us assassinate him or something, are you? No. Okay. Um, she's like, can you do that? Wink. <laughs> I would no, no, never. No, no, no. Wink, Currently, wink. here's a blade. <laughs> uh, the Emperor needs to maintain authority and command um, when speaking with people uh, since he is... Position, 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 uh, position was weakened. Position by is the, a, uh, is from a, from a different area of the world. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. He's position. His position. <laughs> Since his position was, uh, recently threatened, threatened. Hmm. Um, so his tolerance for slights is lower than normal for him. So I'm letting you know now, as your group tends to be a bit more forward when it comes to speaking with uh, royalty, that uh, he w is not going to be able to look past certain right. indelicacies. I don't think I should go. I just, I can't keep it in. You can't remain silent for 20 minutes at all. Do you have a silence spell? Yes. That could work. That would work. I mean, is not there for obscene tonic? gestures. I have a cantrip. I'll just I'll just put my hand on your shoulder and every time you say something I'll shock and grasp you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Feels like that time I was in the asylum. <laughs> <laughs> it's like return to arms. I'm having yep. flashbacks. <laughs> um there will be a bit of a formal introduction and then the most of the nobility and guards will be shuffled out of the room. This is just Corey's way to stop us from being as chaotic as we normally are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> after about 10 minutes of formality, uh, you will have a more private meeting where you can relax a bit. The emperor is aware of who he is speaking to and is 
willing to eccentricities. Yeah, yeah, willing to be a bit more lax uh, when it comes to being uh, well, privately speaking private. Um, I think I think we can be on our best behavior. Excellent. Um, I also I feel like that was directed at me. I was directed at both of you. If you weren't aware. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then I would also like to invite you to my chambers for the evening um, for a dinner, a private oh, dinner. Uh, I am I'm not engaged. not like that, Victor. No, I apologize oh. for it. that. Sounded all right. More. I don't know. It sounds kind of fun. Just saying. I just want to thank you for. <laughs> <laughs> like, like she she turns away from Fred and like the <laughs> tiny little tinge of pink in her cheeks. Um, <laughs> just to thank you for all that you did personally. Just. I don't have much, but I wanted to uh, share my gratitude. We would be honored. Share uh, Carnuth would also be there. I can't do it. <laughs> Sorry. There's too many jokes I, I, to listen, be made. Listen, I, I heard this. There was a phrase. I don't know how it is. It, 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 in um, Orin, it was a different thing, but I think it translates loosely to uh, that's what she said. Oh. It's pretty funny when you say it after other people. I it makes them that. look really weird. I love that. Show my gratitude. That's what she's. Ooh, I love it. Oh, we should just this say is... instead that's what Afira said. <laughs> no, please, yes. please, no. That's please. That's what Afira uh, said. I, oh, I like that. <laughs> as well, honored be, as I would be. To be uh, fair, <laughs> no one in an area would know who Afira is. Unless they met me someday, that we're not going to be sealed off forever. You know? Perhaps. Well, maybe, then you would be maybe famous. If you're, be famous. Maybe if your leaders could uh, get off their piles <laughs> and uh, allow <laughs> some of the magic to be free. This is perhaps, a bad idea. Uh, <laughs> this is really awkward. Uh, we're, not, <laughs> like, we're not in the courtroom right now. So. Yes. <laughs> Very true. Bolt, I'm going to need you to pull it in a little bit. <laughs> We've talked about this. <laughs> well, uh, I will see you in the throne room soon. Then. Right. Yep. And she just turns and starts walking away, kind of shaking her head to herself. Like, why, why, why do I? I didn't know Fred was into dragon ladies. I don't know what I'm into. Oh, that's fair. I know it's not Liam. <laughs> I said I wouldn't talk about him. Three <laughs> more eyes appear on the oculum. <laughs> <laughs> I think I threw up in my mouth when you said his name. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. No. All right. Well, I've lost my my appetite thinking about him. Okay. Uh, so onto the throne room. Yes. Yeah. We'll make Fred sure. is going. I'll, I'll to... make sure we're all cleaned up as nice as we can get. Yes, Fred. Did we buy some fancy clothes while we were out? Oh, Ooh, oh probably. yeah. Probably. We bought. What do we look like? You had the you had the clothes from the uh, from the. Um, I really the Moai, would love remember if we the Moai Taylor. Our later Hosen. Okay. Just putting it out there. <laughs> the clothing, the clothing that Bolt bought was like the most, the mo like the poofiest poofy shirt mm. you can find, and I was absolutely told by the proprietor that this is the latest fashion. <laughs> and he, to he totally, totally swindled not. him. Totally. Yes. Like, <laughs> like, so <laughs> stupid. I love it. That's Why what a foreign a charisma will get you. You don't have a tail. Didn't they want to tailor that in? Oh. I can see a butt crack. Wait. <laughs> no, tie a little knot. Well, it doesn't have a butt crack, though. Oh, does he, he does. In this form. They do. He, he, yeah. Or or they, yeah they, in his body. But they don't have a hole. Do you? Have you checked? <laughs> Bolt. What? <laughs> <laughs> Since we've all lost our appetite, can you turn around? <laughs> I really... This Bend is... over to the front and touch your toes. <laughs> this... Yeah, yeah. I hope this does not come across as inappropriate. Oh, I'm sure it will. <laughs> I hope I'm not stepping across a line, but... <laughs> you cracked me up. <laughs> Would you mind? This is purely for research purposes. Go on. Turn around. I will do a full 360. <laughs> no, no, no. Carol went. 100, 180 degrees. Uh, may I ask why? I am going to pants you. We need to know. I'm already wearing pants. No. Take... <laughs> I don't want to have to do this when you're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wait, whoa, 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 what? Fred doesn't understand the concept of consent. Personal space. <laughs> Personal space. <laughs> Liam probably dodged a bullet here. <laughs> they just want to know. Hey, Liam. Hey, Liam. Do you have a butthole? No, right. I'll just find out later. I believe if you did have one, it would be called a bolt hole. One, a bolt hole. Yeah. <laughs> it would be threaded too. <laughs> <laughs> You're not metal right now, but still, somehow it's still it's threatened. Still is. <laughs> <sighs> Never mind. I'll find out later. What do you want to know? Do you have a bolt hole? What Victor said. You ate a lot of. You food have a the crack. We can see it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is part of my body. My I've never really body. like. No, the crack is. But... Yes, the bolt hole. I don't know. No, there's nothing. No cracking. Really? No, I'm just cheeked up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and now, now it's canon. They spent you know, a lot of time working on those cheeks, you know, sculpting you know the them guy to perfection. In, in social media, wears the white pants and he's got yes. like big old booty. Uh-huh. Yep, <laughs> canon. One hundred percent. Okay. I'm wearing thank like you. super super tight pirate pants, poofy pirate shirt. A yeah. hole for the tail. Where we see your back. In your lower back. Mm-hmm. Once Victor told me that, I, I went and stitched, I went and stitched, stitched it, it up. Mm. Okay, let's go okay. meet the Emperor. Victor will be wearing his fineries, but he is going to take the toe ring and put it around his ankle. So as he's walking around, it's going to be like, clang, 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 <laughs> clang, 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 <laughs> clang, clang, clang. That's every time he takes a step. I love it. Uh, yeah, so you guys make your way to the throne room. Fred um, is uh, going to like gag herself with a... Anchor Okay. You like stuff oh. it in your mouth and just like close or keep your lips closed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so the, the door is open. Uh, you see that there are a lot of like higher tier dragonborn kind of standing around. Uh, some of them are closer to the throne that you kind of assume are probably other dragons. There's not a lot of other ones that kind of give off that gravitas or that presence here. Um, and the throne room has been completely cleaned up. There is like no indication that you guys fought in here at all. There's no cracked tile. There's no broken dragon heads or anything. And no dead um, body of uh, a long dragon. Yeah, no dead body of a long dragon for sure. And uh, where the where the throne that sat on the dais uh, looked small before and kind of made the room feel big with the big back- backdrop of molten gold running mm-hmm. down it. Is that still going? Yes. Uh, the throne room feels a lot smaller because the emperor is sitting on the dais himself, and he is the largest golden dragon that you've or dragon you've ever seen. Uh, pure gold scales. He very much takes up a good quarter of the room. You can barely see the molten waterfall be- behind him, and he gives you a nod. He says, "Welcome, honored guests." I'm like, I'm, I'm like walking in very confident and and. There's definitely some like whispers and snickers, snickers. yeah, (laughs) that kind of thing. Welcome, honored guests of the Wayward Watch. Uh, I am glad that you can be here today so that we can properly thank you for your contributions to returning our city to normal. We are also very honored to be here. Victor will take a deep Mm. ceremonious bow. May I say, uh, Sire, you make a quite the visage. Thank you. Though vanity is not one of my traits. I do appreciate the compliment. I want to be like, maybe if you had a poofy shirt, people would be more present. <laughs> 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 a dragon size. You guys one. are doing so well. You're holding your tongue so nicely. Some by <laughs> force. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um There will be a formal ceremony for the other heroes of our attempted coup later, but we thought it would be more appropriate to give you a more uh, specialized ceremony. And he he goes through a couple, like, rehearsed speeches, you know, showing the nobles, like, how you guys accomplished what you did, how you, you know, aided. There's a lot of downplaying that you guys were instrumental in the Mm -hmm. defeat. Uh, Obviously, he's trying to save face here. He's trying to make it seem like you weren't the only reason that the uh, coup attempt failed, that kind of thing. Um, And after about 10 minutes of uh, warbling, he says, 
now, if everyone would please adjourn to the other room, I would like to speak with these three in private. And then he nods to Afira, who's standing by the day as she's actually standing close, like as close as anybody can be. And like she... almost in an advisory role. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And okay. she just, she stays behind as everybody else kind of shuffles out, even the guards. Victor wants to just be like standing almost militant. You yeah. Know, like just very straight back, very like nonchalant. And Fred, I'm assuming, chewing on her tongue. She <laughs> even just looks the like she is being tortured. This is very <laughs> difficult for her. <laughs> you definitely make a weird trio that these nobles have just uh, witnessed for the past ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> a, a, a purple skin or dark dark purple skin drow, blue skin genasi, mm. <laughs> and a teal can? skin. Teal? Uh, oh no, teal. Uh, it was like a uh, ruddy red, like clay, yeah, right? yeah, like yeah. almost clay. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Uh, so after everybody leaves, the Emperor waits for a few seconds after the last door closes before he shifts back down into his human form. Uh, whether, rather than weather. <laughs> rather... <laughs> <geez. laughs> I love my tongue. Uh, rather than being in like the big elegant robes, he's wearing more of a poofy shirt. No, he's wearing it's right, he's an wearing. identical outfit. <laughs> yeah. oh. Well, one of us has to change. <laughs> no, he's not. I didn't roll a one. Uh, he is wearing just kind of like a casual outfit. He's got kind of uh, comfortable looking he's got pants like, on. Some converse on. Yeah, sure. <laughs> He, he can basically make whatever clothing yeah, he's wearing. They're made out of literal crocodiles. Yes, yeah. oh. he's, he's wearing crocodile crocs for sure. Mm -hmm. I love it. Now I've just got Post Malone in my head. It's he's Post Malone. He's walking around just like. What's up, man? <laughs> and you want to see my magic collection? Yeah. <laughs> As he and he descends the stairs. What he forming. means by that is like a pile of magic items. Yes, yeah, exactly. for sure. And he says, uh, "My apologies for the formalities. They are a unfortunate side effect of being uh, an emperor, but." Now we are speaking privately, so you can be a bit more relaxed. And he points, he pointedly looks at Victor and then at Fred. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like one of those like trick ones? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, she dated a magician for like two days. <laughs> she keeps finding it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> keeps just showing up. Victor's gonna reach. Victor's gonna it's reach the weirdest down. witch's curse ever. <laughs> He's gonna take the bangle off his ankle. By the way, I don't know how people walk around with those things and be quiet at all. They typically it's not meant for being quiet. But thank you, Wayward Watch. I know that my, your contributions had to be downplayed, but I really do appreciate your role in saving my city and making sure that uh, the Herald of Flame did not succeed. No problem. As long as our reward isn't downplayed, if you know what I mean. Of wink, course. Wink. Um, I have you, spoken you wink, at length wink, with. Wink, wink. I had spoken at length with my uh, major domo here, my new major domo, and Nefira gives him a nod. <gasps> Congratulations, oh. girlfriend! Thank you. And she no. has assured me that like, your no. <laughs> uh, yet yeah, that you have done multiple things that go above and beyond service to uh, not only my kingdom and my empire, but uh, all of Arconis itself. So, as a reward, I will grant each of you one. Boom. If it is within my power to do so, I will do it. A boon, you say? Yes. Hmm. Now, is this some magic, or is it Could you get bolt, a bolt hole? I do not want that. I'm Just not, asking. I'm not sure what that is. Nor no, do I, I want that. to know. <laughs> Judging by the sound of it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, magic, uh, wealth, titles, land, it's, what, what do you ask? I am one of the most powerful dragons in Arconis. May we converse amongst ourselves. Of course. course. Take all the time you need. Just one or one each? One each. <clears throat> Now we'll like get into a mm -hmm. huddle, and and he'll just like step over to the back over to the back wall where the molten gold is loudest, and talk with Afira about other matters. Oh, I really want some of those shoes, but I don't think I should ask for that. <laughs> I, I think we can just find something like that. Oh, okay. I kind of want to ask for uh, him him to start. How how would I put this? 
spreading the wealth, so to speak, yeah. among, amongst all of Arconis. I really think he would do that. You want them to have that many bastard children? Not like that, Victor. Oh. <laughs> Remember, he had three eggs and he lost one of them recently. <laughs> yes, sensitive subject. Yeah, let's not bring that up. <laughs> More of a... They, they seem to hoard magic. Perhaps perhaps we could... I don't know, maybe I... I I'm okay using my boon for this. I, I, don't, I don't know what else to ask for. Mm. That's very noble of you, Bolts. Why you are better than Victor and I? I was just gonna ask for Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and then Victor was gonna really ask cool. for her Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> he there was said, a, no, there was a couple of I want YouTubers. Crocs too. Okay, here you go. No, no, those ones. <laughs> there was a pair of YouTubers that I was watching, and the one I asked the other one, he's like, "Okay, you get one wish." Or we each get one wish. What is your wish? And he goes, that you don't get a wish. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. <clears throat> Unless you could think of something else. <clears throat> maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll just ask that, not as a boon thing, but like... Since it's more of an informal, we can just say... Hey, by the way, this is kind of how an area does it. It's worked out pretty well so far. <laughs> I like that. Mm. The mm. Emperor demands a chocolate Twizzler. <laughs> it's good to be the king. <laughs> I just can't wait. Try one. I want to be able to spy on people. Like, like scry on them? Yeah. That's what I want. You can stare into Blinky's eyes and you'll be like your orb. Yes, that would be amazing. <laughs> Do I have to use the sippy cup? <laughs> like, what's her name? I think that would be... Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> I think it would be use <laughs> useful. I'm, I'm just putting it out there. That actually would be pretty useful. What about you, Victor? What do I... I'm reading through the epic boons table. <laughs> <laughs> yes, is there actually a... Is this a try to come up with something thing? Or is there like yeah, a... Yeah, whatever you want. You can try and come up with it. Not, it's not quite... Like wish level. A anything. wish level. Uh -huh. But, I mean, Preston's right. Epic boons, like if that's kind of what you want, he might be Marks able to provide prestige, something that. Supernatural gifts. Feats. Yeah. Is Fred's they have two feats. idea within reason? If he had you'll have to ask. Well, she will. <coughs> well, you could take it. You could take a feat and get scrying. I think isn't that a spell? Scrying or something like that, or something mm -hmm. similar to that. Yeah, there's like a scry spell. Okay. But yeah, there's like Bless he's a very up. powerful dragon mage, so he might be able to get you some magic or make you an item or something. Like there's always something going on. Blessing of health. And I don't mean to be selfish, but that's what I would want. And I I think it could be useful. And not just for selfish purposes. You, Fred, you don't have to justify it. It's your boon. You okay. you are much a part of this as we were in taking back the city. So that's right. like you deserve it just as much as any of us do. Thank you. Well, that's what I'm asking for. What is your special delivery? There's like a second goblet that I can <laughs> I <want laughs> terrorize to people <laughs> with. Double the that receives responses. <laughs> so one of them's full of red liquid, and one of them's full of white liquid, and you can be like, "You're going to die tonight." And then this one can be like, "You're such a good person." And one of these like, goblets <laughs> always tells the truth, and the other always tells lies. <laughs> Which oh, one is what? It? that hurts my brain. <laughs> well. Is that so bold? Hmm. Is that what you, would you not waste, but would you use your boon on asking for the goodness to be, the magic to be spread? Hmm. I think I might just suggest that on the way out. 
I think it's great to just Maybe like right away. before we exit the <laughs> room. Yeah. But perhaps perhaps I could use uh Here's something <clears throat> something to help me something to help me um resist uh, temptation. Mental mm. control. Oh for my enemies. I like that. It's a really good idea. I do like that. You know, here is something that I think would make a, a strong case for sharing magic. Had we not had our magic, we could not have won that battle. It's true. Am I right? So if 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 the magic is shared amongst the people, who knows what sort of talents, natural talents, magically, they might be gifted with. Um, that they didn't know they had, which could aid the society as a whole. I could do a pantomime for them of all of Eve's village and like how they would, didn't have anybody to tell the whole story of well, the whole the, the <laughs> masochists and, and I think it would make a good case. Perfect. Well, let's start out small and see if he's receptive. Very good. Because... All right, I have to practice of... my, my Darian voice. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was morning. That's... <laughs> Which Darian? Dad Darian? <laughs> or, uh... They both they both sound the same. same. <laughs> when they wake up. I mean, my other idea, if trying is not an option, is to send. A plague upon Liam. You're wanting to curse him? Mm hmm. Do you think that perhaps that might be a little bit of a overreaction to what happened? Whoa. Just a little bit. Do Not you? I'm not the part of this conversation. I'm mm -hmm. just over here looking through the epic guy. Uh, He's got a, whatever. Do you have a, a catalog I can look through? <laughs> <laughs> like I have a catalog of feet, but it's not what you think. <laughs> it's just feet pics. <laughs> feet, yeah. <laughs> Every person in the city has to have their feet registered. It's my favorite only fans. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so you, after deliberating for uh, several minutes and several more, um, you kind of motion to Afira that you're ready to speak to the Emperor, and he comes back over and he goes, great, have we decided? Uh, uh, yes, we have. Do you want us to just go? Who, whoever would like to ask their boon first. Right. Since you were so so good during the, she really wants her shoes. Thank you for pointing that out. Oh, great emperor! Is this? Am I doing it right? Yes, you're doing fine. Okay. I beseech of thee <coughs> to gift me the ability to. Well, I like to call it spy, but I guess technically I want to scry. Observe. On others. <laughs> Observe. That's what I meant. Observe. He he glances over at Afira and she kind of gives this look like, do we really want to give her this power? But <laughs> doesn't say anything. And he goes, that, that should be easy to arrange. And he turns back towards the, the dais and he grows back into his full draconic form. And as he does, he reaches a cloud and cups uh, the molten metal and kind of pulls uh, some of it away and kind of squeezes it in his hand. And you can see this big like flashing glow of magic. And when he holds it out to you and opens it up, there is a uh, a golden orb about this big that's sitting there. He said, this should be able to provide you with what you seek. Whoa. Is it heavy? Oh, yeah. it's. I mean, it's <gasps> pretty much solid gold. Is it hot? <laughs> <laughs> it is warm to the touch. Um, and as you, like, as you, like, kind of, like, twist it around, you can see, like, just the hint of runes in it. But every time you, like, try and focus on them, they disappear. Uh, just to be a smooth surface instead. Um, I'll say that you can cast Scry from this uh, some uh, certain amount of times today that we will uh, talk about when I actually put the item together. Yeah. Yes. What is a level five Scrying spell? Okay. Yeah. You could have like you could do like charges. Have it like. 
regenerate oh, charges. Lick it. Yeah, it'll it'll be a charge thing. So yeah, but uh, you you can lick it if you want. The dragon orb of scrying. <laughs> um, this is not a boon request, but question for you. Of course. Where did you get those fabulous Crocs? Because I would love a pair. <laughs> Do oh. they grow with him? He's in his dragon form because he's more he's more uh, <laughs> casual right now. He's just got so, giant giant <laughs> dragon sized Crocs on. Bunny slippers. <laughs> oh my gosh! You rolled one. Yeah, he's he's in his casual <laughs> Croc Crocs. <laughs> I. He's like. Oh, I forgot that I... <laughs> I, I had forgotten that uh, they are just too comfortable. They really are. I will have a pair sent to your room. Yes! That is, I think that is a, an additional thing that wouldn't be too much trouble. Oh, thank you, your greatness. Sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, Use that yes. power well, please. That is... Of course, I wouldn't <laughs> spy on Afira while she's getting dressed. That's just creepy. She literally, like, blushes again and turns away and... <clears throat> Let's move on. He's like, hold on. Parental control room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, NC uh, 14. <laughs> I'm not a creep. Well, of course. continue. Your whole vibe radiates like <laughs> weird. <laughs> so <laughs> creep is not far off, I suppose. <laughs> creep, weird. Yeah, like what's the distinction? A creep is someone who makes you feel yucky. Mm-hmm. Yep. The difference between a creep and a weird weird person is just probably whether or not you like that person. <laughs> That's true. Not like romantically, but like just enjoy their company. <laughs> I totally agree. Like, I'm a weird person. Honestly, Fred is not that far off from who I am. <laughs> I'm a Gemini. That's thoughts. why Eve also was like, this is pretty much me. Mm-hmm. I'm just... You're just... The duality of Tori. Yeah. yeah. The right. triality. It's perfect. Yes. You have three characters. I am two characters. A trio. Yes. No. <laughs> Wait. They've got a competition. Next. Victor. Mm-hmm. Well, I I don't know if this is in your power or not, but I being the tank of the group have sometimes I die pretty quick and I'd like the way to maybe not or protect people around me. I see. Um, don't know if you got anything for that. Oh, we bought some runes, but they don't... That is actually one of the easiest things that I can do, Victor. Oh. Here, here's plate, here's plate armor. <laughs> <laughs> Step forward and kneel, if you wouldn't mind. Put Don't your head into the molten gold. Are you going to be knighted? Wait. The dragon goes, sort of. And then he leans down and he kind of breathes. He just goes, you. He gives you a little, little peck on his head. For, for half a second, Victor thinks that he's going to get nothing roasted. To do with <laughs> like roasted. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for saving my town. <laughs> 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 now, whoosh. Uh, and as, as the uh, the breath of a dragon washes over you, uh, you are getting a. What was the specific feat that you were grabbing here? P wave? It was the. Dragon Board? Dragon? It was, yeah, it was the favor of the gold dragon, right? That was the. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So you get a couple extra spell benefits and things like that. Gift of the metallic dragon. Gift of the metallic, yeah. Specifically gold, okay. in this case. Um, um, I mean, and i wondering, I have this skill, it's mildly useless, it's called piercer. <laughs> wondering if I could trade that out for something else. Maybe you could th- have someone train me to do something. I'm afraid that that is up to the audience, not me. <laughs> um, Noladay, she can train you how to. <laughs> yeah. Noladay. If well, don't care what it is, as long as it's not piercer. <laughs> you, if you would like to spend some time training with my royal guards, they could teach you a thing or two. I would be honored. Yeah. yeah, I'll let you trade out that fee for something else. Okay. It'd be fine. And what of you, Bolt? Well, since we're just making up roles as the healer of the group. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Well, I feel one of my biggest weaknesses is my mental fortitude. I have trouble uh, when it comes to... He scares easy. Charm spells. Is that so? You, <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Oops, I said Butterflies. Ah. Do you mind if I test this? Uh, if it's part of the process? 
Unsure. Uh, he's just going to like lean forward and draconic presence. <laughs> draconic presence, you. Uh, so go ahead. I, let me find out what a gold dragon's presence does. An ancient gold dragon's yep. presence. <laughs> you die immediately. Uh. <laughs> My heart stopped. I don't even have one. Uh, yeah, give me a wisdom saving throw, please. <laughs> That's a six. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Please you, don't hurt me. <laughs> yeah, you immediately like start shaking, and he cuts it off pretty quickly, so that it's not any negative effect. Um, but he goes, "That is interesting. I would have thought it is very detrimental, actually, well, especially when my companions are relying on me in combat. I may have something that would help. If you, anything you could do. Are you familiar with the?" The bard known as the Golden Woman. We are not from here, so no. She was a a bard of great skill even before Arconis became Arconis. Uh, her, she was legendary for being able to face against any foe without fear. And when she passed, her harp carried on that bravery for her. And it found its way into my collection. Would that be something that would interest you? I, I imagine so. Excellent. And he kind of rotates his hand, and a harp appears between two of his claws. It's golden. It's the so strings like are <coughs> <coughs> yeah. No, it's it's like a. It's Hold like, on, let me get this into the yeah. bag. <laughs> uh, it is just like a little hand harp, and he holds it out, and he doesn't hand it to you. He actually holds it out in front of you and lets it go, and it starts hovering there, and it starts playing a. A gentle tune. He said, "This should react uh, when certain effects are occurring, um, and help you prevent your fear." Oh. Its power is limited uh, before it requires recharge, but it it is a potent item even today. Um, is it uh, something that uh, will always be visible around me, or? Uh, it will hide itself until needed. Find a place to store it, and it will just come out when it is needed. Cut the crack. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this is a this is basically a floating instrument that, uh, as a reaction to being uh, forced to make a wisdom saving throw, okay. uh, it will start a counter charm like a bard does. It's got three charges of it before it needs to recharge. Um, but yeah, it will uh, give you basically a turn of advantage for you and everybody within like 30 feet of you. And I'll, I'll get up the, the stat block for it. Oh, oh, so you too. Well, well, thank you very much. I have a feeling this will become one of my most prized possessions. Of course. Happy to provide wonderful gifts for such wonderful heroes. Don't get out of my seat. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I never want to see you yeah. here again. Uh, shoe size for me is an eight. Thank you. Oh, I know your shoe size. You do. Remember, like, the yes, cobalt. Everyone has everywhere. to register their feet. <laughs> the cobalts are everywhere. For they they his automatically. Feet. His feet book. Yeah. What do you think happens when you leave the room? The cobalts <laughs> go through all the personals that you leave to get your sizes. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> They're also really sneaky. Yeah. <laughs> There's one measuring your feet now. <laughs> oh, no. It's creepy. Also, I have been notified that there is a ship on the horizon on its way here. Is that yours? Are there many airships here? Is Sorry. there a gorgeous uh, woman at the, like, what's it called? At, on the on prow. The, uh, prow. Uh, what is that? The figurehead. Figurehead, the figurehead. Yeah. Uh, yes, that was what was described, and she lo and he looks over and Afira nods, and she goes, "It it is your ship." Oh. Yes, it is ours. May it enter the city? Or? Yes, it has been cleared to enter the palace, barring any uh, objections on your end. Here, yeah, I feel that's is probably uh, Mr. Broomman bringing it to us. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, how long would you like to stay? I imagine probably not too much longer. Oh, we did have something, right? Yes. Um, now, we wanted to kind of talk to you a little bit about maybe uh, this is not you, 
in particular, this is kind of our Arconis as a whole. Um, you know where we come from, correct? Yes, I am aware. Uh, where we come from, magic is very abundant. Uh, and even the most mundane citizens have access to it in some fashion or another. It sounds like a wonderful place. Uh, and I understand that Arconis does not have uh, as much magic. Or Nearly anything. none. Um, but I do think that once once you start connecting to Arconis and some of those magics are flowing in, in both directions, uh, you do know that that will happen, right? Once I have heard inklings from some of my advisors that there are trickles coming in. The more uh, the more travel between, it yes. should open up the the ley lines. It seems to have increased exponentially recently, for some reason. Um, it might. Oh well, we did open that. You know what? <laughs> the portal. Oh, oh yeah. Between mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah. Name's Nook. Well, um, it might be something that uh, perhaps your guard or your proper mages could set up a school or some sort of uh, training for the populace. Uh, I know it helped us having access to our magical reserves helped a lot in defense of this country or this town, city. I see what you or are- Empire? <laughs> yeah. I see what you are implying. I am not so young of a dragon that I cannot see. How, how old are you? Uh, actually, I'm curious. Side note. Ooh, that's a good <clears throat> question. About, you don't keep track of the individual years at this point, but uh, over 10,000, I believe. Which means he was around before an area cracked, by the way. So you were there when it was sundered? Yes. Wowie zowie. And I thought I was old. <laughs> I mean, well, half of that's in a pocket dimension. 1,200 of it's not... <laughs> That's, yeah, it's a drop in the bucket. Well, not really a drop in the bucket. It's just, you know. <laughs> As we get more magic, I expect the iron grip of the dragons to slip. Some may wish to tighten their hold. Others may wish to release it. I have never uh, discouraged my people to uh, not pursue magic or discourage my people to pursue magic. When again, you, know I mean. you are absolutely... However you decide to govern, it's up to you. That's Yes. Personally, doing away with scale would not be something I am opposed to myself. Uh, being able to distribute the opulence behind me. Perhaps you can get one of these and I pull out one of the pigs. Ring, ring. <laughs> and I'm like, platinum. And then I let it to eat it up. <laughs> that is a curious creature. May I examine it closer? Sure. I'll wait till it's done eating. Yeah. So he takes it and he examines it a little bit and then he reaches back into the gold font and brings it up and he crushes it in his hand again and when he opens it up there's like a dozen or so magical piggies that are running around. Hmm. hmm. And then he tosses them back into the, the molten gold. You can, yeah. You know, and he hands it back to you. Yep. <laughs> Perhaps some other day. Now, I don't mean to be rude with this next part. But ever since you have arrived on Arconis, the brother of a prominent member of Aldros has been killed. A minor yet well-known white dragon and her retinue have disappeared off the face of Arconis. They went to an area. There was two different coup attempts uh, <laughs> that you... Lord it out. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Ha'atana is still in uh, flux and going to war with us, and the Silian Peaks have began begun advancing, not to mention that there have been whispers of a specific white dragon that has make, that is making his return. Not that I'm saying that you are the cause of any of this. Also, no, I mean, one of my what children What do has without been us? I mean, it's a good thing we were here. Could have been way worse. Yes. Uh, I'm just wondering if you're planning on sticking around Arconis or if you're planning on leaving. Let's see if Victor's getting the... Yeah, he's picking up one yeah. he's putting down. 17. Mm -hmm. We are planning on heading back to an area. Excellent. So true. I would ask that you... Well, 
an area first, and then we go into some of the other to the other realms, other planes, realms. What are we calling them? Realms, realms, realms. Yeah. 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 Got to make sure the title of this the thing is the Shattered Realms. That's so. true. <laughs> realms. Yeah, makes sense. I would ask that you take a missive back to whatever leaders in an area you can uh, from Bosmahat. Uh, we would be more than happy to open relations. It seems like you have plenty of magic to send over, and with this recent increase in magic, we have more means to be able to communicate. Uh, sure, we would, we would be happy to. As ambassadors for an area, we accept. And uh, if Era walks over and I'm not gonna argue two, <laughs> two kobolds like, are trailing behind her with one of those like tiny palanquins over their shoulders, and there's just a stack of like scrolls, official scrolls, and he says... Uh, Whenever any leaders, I'm not sure how many are on an area. We're um, not too familiar with uh, them. I'm just gonna walk two, over. <laughs> yeah, three. I'm just gonna walk over to the palanquin and just like pick it up out of the <laughs> out of the the frame uh -huh. and be like, um, "This should, this might do," <laughs> and carry it. <laughs> of course, I understand a complicated political system. Yes, and I'm like, I like pull out the map of Arconis. Yeah, there's a lot of leaders here. <laughs> Every dragon thinks themselves the more than next you can count on a talent hand. emperor. <laughs> but thank you. Um, I will have my royal guard uh, attend to Victor and uh, provide him a quick rundown of our specific fighting style. If uh, and then you may leave on the morrow. Aramis would have really enjoyed that. Indeed. And then he just kind of uh, turns his attention away to talk to Athira, kind of essentially dismissing you at that point. Yep. I think we should take our leave. Okay. See you at the after party. <laughs> so uh, the rest of the day kind of passes normally. Uh, Victor, you do have a you do have a meeting with uh, uh, Miss uh, Nolade. If you push your no orb living. against yeah. Blinky. And then cry a lot. It might create enough eyes to like in encapsulate it and make it its own eye. Okay. <laughs> make me cry. Um, your father never loved you. Just, I don't even feel sad about that. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. It I makes told it you, easier. I told you this. <laughs> These are facts. You were on the football team, and you were waiting to be chosen to be on the varsity, right? When they go and play, and then this guy named Brander gets chosen before you. How do you feel? I feel angry, like I okay, want to punch him in the face. I would have cried. Mm. If, it's fine. Work. I'll work on it. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just duct tape it to Blinky for now. Yes. <clears throat> but then it all it's so heavy, it's constantly like... He's like, ah, <laughs> poor little Blinky. <laughs> Pull it near the ground. Oh. <laughs> Are you going to chip the... Orb. Um, Preston, give me an an a history check. History. Uh, with advantage, please, as you go through the motions of this uh, this we'll call it Aja style. Okay. Nineteen. That, the, that these royal guards use. Um, as you are going through the motions on this, you realize that there are similarities to night dancing in it. Mm. Uh, not not only like because you've you've recognized that with um. A lot of the uh, white Tushin styles, mm -hmm. but uh, there is a lot like of very basic older, like you've studied kind of older versions of knife dancing, and this seems even like more ancient than that. Almost like it's a precursor to what knife dancing became. Uh, so yeah, I'll let you trade out your piercer feet for another combat. Okay. Uh, it's just style feet. Oh, you're you're doing sharpshooter specifically. So it'll, be, it'll basically just be you know. I never really thought about it, but if you instead of trying to throw it really, really, really hard, if you aim, you can do more damage. That's so strange. Didn't make any sense before, but it all clicked in here after this. Mm. It's almost like magic. The royal guard is amazed That's that you've gotten this far without learning how to aim properly. <laughs> yeah. I just figured it's been blowing, throwing just blindly. Been throwing him really, really hard. Okay. Literally blindly. Literally blindly. You throw him blindly. <laughs> throwing him really hard blindly. Yep. Uh, this is what my loot looks like, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> it's a nice little harp. Or that's the Vulcan loot. Yeah, it is. 
<laughs> it's awesome. <gasps> um, and then that night, um, you have a nice little dinner. Yeah, we'll go to uh, Afira's uh, chambers and uh, have dinner. Yeah, uh, and Carnuth is there. He's dressed in like his cobalt vest, uh, and he greets you. As, uh, I'm glad everything went well when you were on your way. But it's nice to see you uh, healthy as well. It was harrowing for a bit there, but we managed to rally, and uh, I was actually very pleased that uh, there I had cobalt brethren that were more willing to fight than I thought they would be. You fought well. Oh, and I also got my blade back, which is great. Excellent. Don't let it leave again. If you lose it again, you might... Was it left on the Wayward Watch? Is that why? No, it was... He didn't have it when you guys got there. He had to take the blade for you. Pretty embarrassing in my culture to lose your knife. I had... I didn't lose it. I uh, gave it to the person that (gasps) uh, was escorting the uh, eggs, basically. Even worse. But she was able to track me down and return us. Heretic. And he's gonna walk away. You just clutch your pearls and faint. (laughs) (laughs) Like like legit. Oh, my stars and garters. He's he's gonna be like borderline. I don't know how to talk to this guy anymore. And he's just gonna. (laughs) Wait, 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 wait. wait. Was she your lover? No. uh, um, Another mercenary on the road. Sorry. Can you give a blade to Is there a Mrs. (laughs) Carnuth? No. Or Mr. It's fine. No, I. uh, you have to love him. I, I, I'm dedicated right. Would you to, give one to uh, my duties. Yeah. So no time for that. Pretty serious. Mm-hmm. I understand. But um, it was a it was a blade that was given to me by my old uh, draconic master before I left. It was very detailed. The, the only <laughs> the only way you can look. Fred has a ship. No, no, <laughs> you said slash lover, and it's a sword. They they love slashing with it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I meant. What did you... (laughs) Is there anyone that you don't think is romantically involved with anybody else, Fred? No. What? John Brumman. John Brumman. (laughs) No one could love that face. I mean, he's got a certain charm about him. Mm. And John kind of is in the corner because he's here at this point. (laughs) And he just like takes a drink, but he doesn't even get it. He's just like, yeah, I'm just happy to be here. I'm really happy to not be a broom. He can be a stick in the mud sometimes. I just love sweeping. Yep, it's my only love. Sweeping people off their feet. Ah. Yeah. It's, it's literally it's all legs. Yeah. the best and the worst. I love him. Yeah. It's kind of dumb. It just seems odd. I just love that he has guile hair. Yeah. <laughs> it, it just seems like um. You 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 like to think that uh, romance is everywhere. For is is that just something that you hope is I the mean, case? Or? Isn't it everywhere? I I would say that while romance has its place in society, it doesn't necessarily. It's not the end all be all for society. Well, Tell well, that to society. <laughs> it is what makes society what keep ticking. Did he point out the person he lent it to? Or are they in the room? I know that that person's not in the room. It was a. It was somebody. It's that just said, us yeah. three, John, apparently. Yep. And John, uh, while they're having that conversation, yep. Victor's going to be walking around and asking people for a description of the person that he gave the knife to. It's just the five of you. Yeah. Oh, it's just or five. six yeah. of you. Yeah. I thought there's more people in the room. Nope. Nope. Just, just a private dinner. John John and three. Uh, yeah. I mean, if they interrupt her conversation <laughs> about love with. Uh... <laughs> Is she? I thought that was Carnuth that was talking to us. About I, I did the Fira voice. I don't know. Why, <laughs> I don't know how you could be confused. Well, all I'm saying is that now that I have experienced, okay, maybe not love, lust, shall we say? No. Loves. Love. Yes. I don't <laughs> know what that means. But that's what I experienced. Infatuation. In infatuation. Sure. Yes. No, I think I can. I I do see the possibility for love around every corner, and I suppose that makes me a bit of a romantic, doesn't it? it What's does. really happening is Liam is hiding around every corner. <laughs> you see, sneaking <laughs> around, and you keep catching glasses, and you're like, no, no, that's mine. And I suppose, <clears throat> you know. I've never really been a really lovey-dovey type person. I was raised by a very horrible man. As you said. Yes. And 
now that my mind has been open to the idea, I mean, I've watched Victor just head over here, heels. It is pretty cool when all you flip, the time. yes. For Lyra, which, <laughs> have I told you I'm his best man? Well, I am. And Congratulations. Since when? Right? Victor's like, kind of, he's, he hears this, and he's just going to excuse himself. He's, he's, uh, can I roll for stealth? <laughs> That's a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> you just try to like slink into the shadow. I, try, I like pull the curtain in front You're of him. You're doing a, a crunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can totally see his shoes. Uh, if Farrah does come to your, your rescue and say, uh, on the matter of your father, I was very surprised that you weren't going, to, that you didn't ask the Emperor anything about uh, any sort of troops or mercenaries or anything like that. Mm, I feel like we can handle it. Plus, now I've got my orb with which I can spy upon him and see what he's up to. So I will be one step ahead. Interesting. I hope that goes well for you. Oh, thank you. So what about you, Fira? Do you have anyone special in your life? Not currently. Um, I probably should start thinking about it, to be honest. Oh, why? Well, I'm, I am now the major domo. I should probably try raising a child of my own to uh, help me with my responsibilities. You should, you're going to raise a minor domo? <laughs> uh, she gives you an epic die. Yeah. She actually laughs at that one. Uh, she that she finds that. that that's that's some top tier royalty humor right there. <laughs> well, coming from someone who I'm pretty sure I was born just so my father had his own little clan of mercenaries. Um, I don't think that's always the best reason to bring a child into this world. But I am all for you finding love. You hear just like this sickening slime sound as the ocular was going, trying to hide with him, and he just goes, whack, and looks back and away, and keeps coming back. <laughs> what are we doing, Hal? Oh, get away, get away. Trying to give you butterfly you kisses. Me. You're giving me away. <laughs> that's, that's like a, an equivalent of a dog licking you. He's giving you butterfly kisses. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that I would be um, with somebody just for a child. I, love would have to be involved. Hmm. But... Um, it is my duty as part of the royal court to make sure that we continue on and have enough people to maintain, not control, but uh, maintain our authority. Hmm. Blech. Duty. From behind the curtain. Just ask Bolt. They've had children. They can teach you. Wait. Victor, you can come out what? now. It's fine. No. Bolt, you have children. Do I have children? I don't know. No. Not, not in the strictest sense, no. No, had, I, had two dragons. Oh, that's right. The, every <laughs> that's time right. you mention <laughs> the fairy right. dragons, <laughs> ah, I yeah, always I forget that. about them. I was oh, not I know what he's talking and, about. And, and, and he, he, he had, had Gearhawk. They had Gearhawk. I created Gearhawk. It's like giving birth, right? Not real. Do you... We but, should probably go over but that you, one you, you explain, or you believe that you have a father, right? Um, and I've heard you talk about them. It's more of a... Yeah, more of a father figure, hmm. if that makes sense. Uh, because they created you. It's Correct. a Frankenstein monster situation. A you what? being the monster. I've never heard of a Frankenstein. Are they a dangerous monster? No, a Frankenstein is the creator. I thought it was Frankenstein. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes! That was his first Here. Thank you. Wow. That was his first well done. young Frankenstein joke. <laughs> Frankenstein. Within this. I see. Is a is the monster that Franken Frankenstein <laughs> creates, is that a, a dangerous creature? There's a lot of creatures that are in an area that my people don't know about. I like to think it's an allegory I mean, I could, of ourselves. I could probably Ooh. fill a book with creatures. You. A, a manual of sorts. AP. Bolt's Guide to Monsters. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying all this Copyright. Behind the curtain How stuff. to build monsters. Yeah. <laughs> like the thick, like, vellum rubber curtain. He's still talking behind the curtain, so. There, there would definitely be call for people who want to know more about an area's history. That is for sure. Yeah. Do you want to come back with us? Oh, sorry. No, I, I wouldn't. Can I invite Afira back with us? Shh. The ship is as much yours as it is ours. Do you want to come back with us? I. I mean, you're the major domo. I have a lot of duties to attend to here. We 
very hard just for me to delegate. There's a new, there's this new thing I've heard about. It's called like remote work. You come to an area, <laughs> you work there, and you get paid still. Yes, you just make sure if you have a Keep Zoom call, title. don't also take a shower. A Zoom scrap, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that happened to me. <laughs> um. Anyway, I, I, I don't know. I it would, that would be very difficult to get away from. Plus, you're not staying in an area for very long, are you? You said you were traveling further? Um, yeah, that's the plan, but it may be a couple weeks, at least. You can at least visit, maybe open an, up an embassy or something. And there's an easy way back. That's true. I could teleport us back. Now that I've... Uh, you seen. can't teleport across realms. The helm of teleportation only does the plane that you're on currently. It's still the same nope. an area. <laughs> we've, already, we've already discussed this <laughs> several okay, times. Um, but you're right. There is an easier way back now with the uh, the portal yeah. between the two. Oh, yeah. Let me bring it up to the Emperor. Uh, I might be able to come along if I, if I frame it as a diplomatic mission. Uh, that would be fine. And she Perhaps. looks over and she goes, Carnuth, would you be willing to... Uh, be a, my bodyguard during that time? And he like straightens up and he goes, absolutely. I well, don't think you want him as your bodyguard. You should see what he does with his knives. Victor, <laughs> it's... Remember, other people have different views mm -hmm. and different beliefs. They're wrong. Kind of gives you a look and he goes, you've never given a blade to anybody else. I mean, he has, but only like this. You're not like you. <laughs> I mean, what does this person look like? Uh, What's their name? She was Where do you live? Oh, that's a good question, what their name was. Uh, let's see. What do they smell like? What do they taste like? These are the questions. <laughs> Every DM should have all these written down. Burning <laughs> How next are they ourselves. if I cut off some of their fingers for you to redeem your blade? Uh, you're not cutting off any of my fingers. No, not your fingers. Their fingers. No, no, you're of not cutting off any. Their name is Val Ostri. Val Ostri. They are a they are a barbarian mercenary that was with uh, the caravan when it was attacked, and she proved herself very useful. And when it came time to uh, separate and get her out of there quickly, I I gave her my weapon for extra protection because she had lost hers. I'm with Victor. And it's not for love? I'm with Carl. No. That was very noble. Two against one. Apira, you're the tiebreaker. Considering that Carnuth's actions resulted in uh, two out of three of the eggs being safely escorted to their location. Right. He can be one, but he can't have a blade. Uh, you don't get to make that decision. <laughs> 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 Don't make me take your Victor's get away. <laughs> At this point, Victor's getting really pouty about it. <laughs> I will lock you in your room he misses until we get home. Lyra. <laughs> he starts to act around. like this when they've been away for too long. I would, uh, I would like to meet this Lyra. And so would I. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've met her like once, I think. <laughs> you've met his mom once. I think it was the same time. <laughs> yeah, was, yeah, okay. Oh yeah, they both showed up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again, yeah. I'd like to meet her for well, the first time again. Well, hey, I've got, I've got an invite here. I don't have my full name written on it, but if you want one. Um, I think I'll, okay. Wait, when's right. the wedding? Is it when we get back? If I survive. It could be. As much as like. I would love to attend, I, I think maybe a week might be as much time I mean, as I can spend away. Maybe Afira could also be in the wedding party. Having a dragon at your wedding is pretty cool. You'd have to go Sorry, I'm, I'm volunteering you. Uh, sure. Uh, Send me an invitation when you are having the wedding and we'll see if uh, I'm ready. Write it on the invitation. Special guest, drag queen. Drag queen. P.S. I've I'm noticed not, your visage is different. I'm not a queen, but thank you. Uh, yes, drag I, no, no. I figured that something a bit more draconic was called for now that I have a higher station. <clears throat> but I didn't want to give up my... Typical look, so how difficult, compromise. how difficult is it to uh, change your visage? At when I first create, crafted it, it was pretty difficult. Um, these days, it is relatively minor. It's just a bit of extra personal magic. You could learn. 
get the bolt hole finally. I just, I want my old body back. <laughs> if anything, I think it'd be interesting for you to come to an area to experience a realm that is lush with magic. And, and see very how that impacts dangerous. you. You should probably bring a contingent of, of uh, dragons in case there's a fight with Sir Dad. I mean, there's... <laughs> You're being a wingman for her, <laughs> for her dragon army. Nice. <laughs> no, I think we'll be all right uh, okay. with a smaller part of them. It should be okay. Carnuth and maybe one or two more it should be okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving him a, I'm giving him a big time for this. <laughs> Like Preston, I don't care. But Victor, he very much. Ah, uh, yeah. The, so the rest of the meal goes just with casual conversation. Uh, Ephira has been with you for like a week and a half at this point, so we're best friends now. Yeah, yeah you yeah. basically are like uh, tight knit <laughs> as a group now. So yeah, it's not a it's not a difficult conversation. She's not very overly formal or anything like that. So huh. well, that was a lovely dinner. Thank you for inviting us. I, I think we're. Uh, going to re retire to our room and tomorrow morning we're going to head out of course i will be uh, i will meet you tomorrow morning to at least say goodbye if not uh, join you if i'm able to find the um ability to step away yes thank you I'm, thank you it was i was hoping it was dinner and some but <laughs> i'm happy with what we've got <laughs> um Yes, well, um, very good night to you. And again, she's got that like tinge of pink. <laughs> that she's just like, ah. John, don't make it awkward. Stop cleaning up. Let's go. But there's no no, no excuses. It's weird. weird when you stay when you when you say goodbye and then you start cleaning up. Then you have to say goodbye twice. Just get out of here. Come on. Yeah, stop with the Midwestern goodbye. Let's just go. Fine, <laughs> fine, fine. He he well, sulks <laughs> off now. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we'll head back to our room. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Really? Why didn't they serve us dessert? That's what I was talking about back there. Uh, I have a feeling she <laughs> took it differently. Romantically differently. Romantically? Why does everybody have to make this about romance? I don't get it either. <laughs> <laughs> the absolute frustration. <laughs> There's a, there is a, an invisible DM figure that is doing this behind Fred. <laughs> she has to stay true to her chaotic yep, nature. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, so another night passes. Uh, in the morning, you head out to the airship that's been just kind of... They basically just put it in one of the upturned areas. You know, there's nothing else that's there right they now. They had nowhere else to park it. They parked it over at the stables like a horse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but as you approach, uh, there's a contingent of honor guard that is waiting to say goodbye. And actually, Ephira is there with uh, several bags in Carnuth in full armor. And he's got a, a sword on his back that is, it looks like it's completely made out of, uh, was, it, was it Jade? I think it was Jade itself. We're using jade a lot tonight, but it was uh, it's a full jade blade. Yeah. And she's a uh, I that's a, that's a game like Bay Blade. J Blade. blade. Yeah. yeah. J Blade. J Blade. I was able to get approval to join you. Yay! On this, uh, journey. Oh. You'll uh, are you okay with the same room that you were in? Absolutely. Uh, no nothing special needed on my part. Um since I am heading to an area myself. Uh, perhaps I should take those scrolls off you to deliver them to uh, the leaders. Uh, if you'd like, I will leave them in your room. Of course. But thank you for the opportunity. I appreciate it. Can I roll a streetwise check to see if I found this lost street person? Oh, yeah, sure. If you, if you like, went out at night to, night, yeah. to, to look for her. 16, what would it be for streetwise? If you weren't engaged, I'd say Victor would come back with smooches all over us. <laughs> like, <laughs> Well, there was no finger cutting off there. So like 16 plus investigation? Yeah. That's plus one, so 17. 17? And <laughs> 20. Okay, we're gonna rewind a little bit. Um, <laughs> just as, that's just, just as like a... Victor uh, is not with you guys as you are boarding. He said he'd be back. Um, at least over the night. Because it, it took you all night to like search the bars and everything to try and find this fallow tree. We woke uh, up and I had to send you a message like, Victor, where are you? <laughs> yeah. And you do find her uh, at one of the inns in the morning. She is, let me just give you a quick description. Uh, she's a human woman uh, with a kind of a muscular build. 
She's wearing kind of an animal fur tunic and a heavy kilt. Uh, she's got long brown Did hair she that's... she kilt it herself? Yes. Uh, she's got long brown hair that's twisted into like several tight braids along her scalp uh, before meeting together and running down her back. And she's covered in uh, kind of these faded uh, tattoos that mark her as one of the like barbarian tribes uh, around the area. And she definitely she definitely gives the look of a woman who has giant ancestry in her okay. blood. And she's just eat, she's just eating away at breakfast as you as you arrive. I'll, I'll, I'm just giving her a stink eye from like <laughs> across the room, and then after probably about five minutes of just like stink eyeing this person, I'm gonna be as, just seeing if if she seems to carry herself like the warrior that that he described. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he, she very much has that kind of air about her. There's a, a little bit of a She's gastoning the place right now. She's like, bring me all of your eggs. Yes, every single one of your <laughs> eggs, please. I need 12 dozen. Every what last you inch heard of her is covered in hair. <laughs> was a lot of bacon and eggs, but what I said was, all, all the, the bacon, bacon and eggs you have. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so she very much looks like this swag. She's got that confident okay. swagger that uh, that you've come to recognize from the barbarian tribes. And after about like four minutes of staring, she finally goes, are you just going to look or do you want to actually talk to me? Velostri, is it? That's right. And uh, who exactly are you? I am Victor. Victor Dragonsbane. Well, that's not a name that you want to throw around in the middle of a dragon city. Not really. But I've been trying to assess you and decide if, uh, if I need to regain... Carnuth's honor for him, as far as he's too blind. You're you're Carnuth's friend. I am. What uh, honor have I besmirched from the little man? <laughs> you touched his knife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. He's saying what? That I touched his what? Knife. Yes. And that's a euphemism. No, no, literally. You touched. It is very offensive to me and. First of all, Carnuth didn't give me a knife. It's a sword. It, does that matter in this case? It's still the same thing. It's oh, yes. A... My apologies. I thought it was a knife. <laughs> oh, we're good. <laughs> Swords are no big deal. It's called knife dancing, Scott, not sword <laughs> dancing. <laughs> despite the fact that there are people who sword dance. Uh, there are very, hands. very few circumstances which you touch another person's blade. When it's given freely, Love. I touch whatever person's given blade I want. That's what a is said. <laughs> <laughs> well, are we? Do we have a problem? Because it's not too early for me to get into a brawl if we have a problem. No, I th I think I don't. I, you know, I don't want to hurt you. No hard feelings. Yeah, and she she claps her hand and just she starts will. like. He, she will crush his hand. He oh, yeah. No yep. There is no strength contest <laughs> needed here, probably. Uh, but yeah, she will squeeze as hard as she can. And you actually you actually feel like a little bit of a tingle, like you're lightly being electrocuted. And she says, I'm glad that is it a we don't tingle? have a problem. <laughs> the Victor tingle. <laughs> it's a Victor tingle. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm glad to see that you were a warrior and that he does not... He was not making up stories just to save face. Victor... I've just met you, but you seem like you are the type that uh, I know pretty well. Stuck in honor and in your ways. A little advice from someone who uh, got out of her own ways. Get out of yours. It's probably for the best. Victor's going to spend a moment trying to understand what this means. He's very visual in his I know, head. Half of like you he's standing know. in front of himself and getting out of his own way and then resolving. And yeah. He's like Bilbo at his birthday party. I know half of you as well as you deserve. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it makes sense. Well, anyway, before we go, how about the drink? As long as you're buying. Oh, by the way, if a you guys want, beer. you can uh, you can convert whatever scale you want back into gold. The 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 Emperor does give you that opportunity. I don't even know how much I have. Yeah. Strongest drink with, that they have. Okay, yeah. All right. Um, it's a bit early for a drink, but I'll never say no to it. 
Not uh, not early enough for a brawl. But you usually wait until after the brawl for the first drink. <sighs> Precisely. Well, yeah. Carnuth. Carnuth, and she'll clink uh, As we're drinking, with I you. want to try and cut off her pinky. Okay, uh, go ahead and give me an attack roll. 18. Uh, okay. As Sorry, Victor got killed on his way back to the ship <laughs> by a horde of the, barbarians. That boon, hopefully it helps him. Um, 18, you said? This is 18 plus 9, so that's going to be 28. I think that's going to hit. I don't think there's anything that uh, would resist that. Just a moment here, though. Oh, she has a reaction. <laughs> Doesn't have to be the whole pinky. Just a little piece of it. Yeah, I mean, I'll go ahead and say that you... I'm going to snatch it. And she can have attack of opportunity. Uh, she, yeah, she, she's going to... I'm gonna... going to just blitz out of there as okay. fast as I can. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's going to go ahead and uh, make Back a at the ship swing at you. Feel a disturbance. <laughs> something in the force. Yes. Something is coming this way. Uh, that's a twenty-six to hit you. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, this is just a a whirlwind of blades. <laughs> this is just a regular attack, uh, or the re- a unarmed attack here. So we're gonna improvise weapon smashing the gourd over my head. Uh, it's just gonna be thirteen damage as she like clocks you as you head past me, kind of stumble a bit. And she goes, you son of a bitch! <laughs> and she's going to get up, and she's going to start running after you. Of course, you have your, your, speed, yeah, your, your quick I'm heels. Gonna, yeah, I'm, yeah. Going, I'm going to click my heels, and I'm going to use my Zephyr Strike, Long Strider, jump the whole nine yards okay. all the way back. Okay. As you're running away, she just shouts, <laughs> I'll find you, Victor Odonta! I know who you are! <laughs> Ah, actually, she heard Dragon's Bane. <laughs> it was Victor Dragon's Oh, yeah, Bane Victor there. Dragon's Bane, that's right. So. Uh, and then she, <laughs> he gave her the false. You don't obviously see, but she goes back <laughs> and she sticks her pinky into the, into the beer and just starts grumbling a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when I get back, I just want to I just want to walk up to Carnuth like, with the biggest, like, I'm huffing and puffing, but just I'll have a little, like, napkin. I'm going to walk up to him. Carnuth, I have great news. But, okay. Good, good morning, first of all, Victor. Your honor has been restored. What? Well, You're who? welcome. And then he's going to get on the open it. Who's <laughs> bloody <laughs> 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 Part of a pinky. And he's going to follow you. Victor, what did you do? Ooh, Victor. Sausage. <laughs> Fred. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Ah, oh, it's undercooked. Oh. As, so chewy. As uh, Carnuth. Uh, follows Victor hurriedly onto the ship, and the wayward wanderer takes off into the sky. I look again. at, I look at uh, Fred. Do you want to know? I, I, I really don't want to. And Victor's know. like he went from like this. I'm okay not mood. knowing. He is now. He's. <laughs> We're good, Victor. Sure. Um, would you like to just hang out for a couple hours? Or? Yeah, feel pretty good. Got a nice run in this morning. We don't need to leave really fast oh you mean stay here no we need to go <laughs> <laughs> all right probably I, I, really quickly i will go ahead and get everything uh started and take off if sorry you... i got to pull out my consequences and plot lines here <laughs> <laughs> uh, victor udanta dragon's bane uh, enemy to all barbarian tribes <laughs> and gift yeah. <laughs> Nightmare of the Gift. Nightmare, Nightmare of, of the Gift. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he, he who screams in the shadows. Oh no, it wasn't it wasn't the gift, was it the gift? It was it was the gift sir. Well Githsurai, Gith. Yeah, I think you said I think you said all Gith. That's fair. No. So it would be both Gith Yankee and Gith Sarah. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh the ship takes off into the sky and starts heading towards uh not Arconus the sunset, but uh the south, which is on your way back to an area. And I think that's where we're going to end this evening. That's a great place to stop. Yep. <laughs> um, I love it. I mean, I mean, uh, I'm going to walk away without getting a bar fight. So. <laughs> yeah, you have to. One on every plane. Yeah. Yep. It's going to be hard for the planes that don't have bars. Uh-huh. We'll figure he will it out. build one. Yeah. Build a bar. Build a bar. <laughs> or he will fight someone while holding a bar. <laughs> build a bar is my favorite uh, place that you can go to like build your own little tavern. And yeah. Then you, yeah. 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 There's the furniture the machine like, where you stuff it in there and it just. <laughs> 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 
the you get all the little tiny little tiny bottles so you can yeah. put in with your tweezers. <laughs> the bartender, you're just like, yeah. <laughs> uh, but thank you everybody for joining us. Uh, it has been a wonderful episode. Inspirations all around. Um, Check out our Patreon. You get access to videos uh, two days early, and you get access to private Discord where we're always available to chat with. And we have some actually pretty fun conversations on there. Uh, and you get also access to all the other Patreon exclusive posts and videos that we do. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And thank you guys for the merchandise and the, the ways that you guys support us there. We had some more sales this oh, weekend. So all right. this is good. Very nice. Appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, for head. for my party, don't forget to level up. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> Uh, we are going into level 16 as we start our next uh, leg of the campaign. So thank you, everybody, and we will see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.